charges are filed in connection with a serious crash that sent four local teens to the hospital. We've learned the teen who was behind the wheel of a car that slammed into a tree in Charlestown back in October is now facing a reckless driving charge. It's been more than five weeks since that horrific crash that injured four Cherraho High School students, the last of whom just left the hospital this week. And now we're learning more about the circumstances that may have led to the accident. This on the same day a former school committee member accused of hosting an underage drinking party the night of the crash returned to court. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live now from Washington County District Court with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Yes, more than a month after a car crashed into a tree in Charlestown, Eyewitness News has learned that investigators now believe the crash was the result of drag racing with a second car. It was a horrible car crash in Charlestown in late October that investigators are now saying was the result of multiple bad decisions. First, the police charged a member of the Cherho School Committee, 49-year-old Terry Sarah, with hosting an underage drinking party at her home in Richmond. Second, investigators say at least two teenagers left the party and got behind the wheels of two cars with seven people inside. Four in one car, which crashed, and three in another car, which did not crash. There was drag racing? Yes, there was. That was the third bad decision, according to the lawyer for the town of Charlestown, who tells Eyewitness News the drivers of both cars are now charged with reckless driving. I'd like to think that it's the alcohol that made them think like idiots and think that was a good idea. But in fact, uh, you know, I don't know these young men, uh, but clearly alcohol, uh, it appears so far is the precipitating event. What's the message here? Well, the message here is that uh, social host parties have wide-ranging implications. They're like octopuses in this case. They've grown eight legs. Uh, this case was not just somebody being irresponsible in hosting a party or allowing a party to happen. A woman who lives near the crash site spoke with a passenger in the car that didn't crash. We'll hear from her new at six. Live with the South County Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.